If you love chocolate and mint, then you're gonna want this cookie recipe today. It's a chocolate cookie with chocolate chips and mint pieces, and it is one of my favorite cookies all year long, but it's also perfect for Christmas. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Hey everyone, it's Dorothy with crazyforcrust.com and welcome back to my kitchen. I've been making these cookies for years and they're one of my daughter's favorites and so I wanted to share the recipe with you. It's just an easy cookie recipe and it makes a lot so it's perfect for the holidays. For more delicious desserts and easy recipes, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Now let's get in the kitchen. First thing you wanna do when you make this cookie recipe is to melt your chocolate. I have two ounces of semi-sweet baking chocolate. That's from one of the bars that you find in the baking aisle. And I'm going to melt it in the microwave. I'm, I melt it at 30 second increments until it's melted and smooth. I stir it every 30 seconds. It's gonna take one to two minutes depending on your microwave. And then just set that aside to cool while we start the cookie mixture. Add one cup of unsalted butter to a large bowl. You wanna make sure that it's softened. Then add one cup of packed brown sugar and a half of a cup of granulated sugar to the butter and cream that together until it's nice and fluffy. You can use a hand mixer or a stand mixer for this, but if you're using a hand mixer, make sure you're using a really large bowl. Once the mixture is creamed, add one teaspoon of vanilla and two large eggs and mix until smooth. And then add in your melted baking chocolate and two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder. Now you could use regular unsweetened cocoa powder or you could use the Hershey's Special Dark if you want this to be a dark chocolate cookie. Um, but I would not use Dutch process in this because we're using baking soda and there's a whole chemical reaction that happens with that. Mix that together until it's nice and smooth. Add in one teaspoon of baking soda and a half of a teaspoon of salt. And then mix in two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. Mix this in together until it's a nice cookie dough. And then you're gonna add the fun part, the mix-ins. I'm adding one cup of chocolate chips and one cup of those Andes mint baking chips that you can find in the baking aisle, usually around the holidays, sometimes all year round, depending on what store you're at. Some chocolate chip makers even now make mint chips, so you could use those too. Or you could even use peppermint chips. Either one, anything that you want works in this cookie. And then we're gonna scoop our cookie dough balls. Now this mixture is nice and soft, so we do need to chill it before we bake it. So I'm scooping two tablespoon size cookies and I'm just placing them on my cookie sheet. Uh, my cookie sheet is lined with a Silpat baking mat. You could also use parchment paper. I'm not spreading these out because they are gonna be chilled, so I'm just gonna pop them in the refrigerator. It's easier to chill it when it's only one tray. Pop those into the refrigerator and then we're gonna let them chill for at least an hour. Okay, it's time to bake our cookies. So I'm going to preheat my oven to 350 degrees and I'm gonna spread these out on my cookie sheets and I'm gonna bake them for probably 10 to 14 minutes. Um, I'm gonna rotate my pans halfway through baking. Um, they will kind of, they'll look like they're not collapsing, but they will collapse um, into a nice flat cookie um, that stays nice and soft because we chilled the dough. You'll know these cookies are done when they've just lost that glossy sheen. Don't let them over bake or they won't be as nice and gooey and soft. Now my secret for the perfect looking cookies is that after I bake them, I add some more chocolate chips and mint pieces. So I just usually press a few of each on top and that way, one, you can tell what they are um, and they look a lot prettier than just a plain cookie on top. Let that cool because the chocolate chips will kind of melt and then they'll harden again um, and then you can stack them or freeze them or give them away or whatever you want to do. Okay, so my cookies have baked and cooled um, so that that top stuff that I put on um, isn't smeary anymore. And we have our cookies. They are, they, you can smell the mint, you can smell the chocolate. These are super soft and they are crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside with tons of that mint and chocolate flavor. These are great. These are great for mint lovers all year long, but they're absolutely fantastic at the holidays. Um, I'm gonna pop these in the freezer because I freeze everything to save them for the holidays. Uh, you keep watching for more cookie recipes.